Hey everybody, Dgood24 here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have some breaking news when it comes to NASCAR video games. So, there have been rumors and teases and even articles about NASCAR coming to the Switch at some point this year. And we all kind of thought it wasn't going to happen because, you know, it's October and nothing's been announced. I know the, um, the guy that was on that Race Hub segment was playing a Switch before he started talking about the new game. But we have had not had any official announcements aside from like that and uh, an article or two saying there will be Switch games for NASCAR this year. But today, Motorsport, not Motorsport, the NASCAR Heat account um, tweeted a picture of Kyle Larson playing a Switch or holding a Switch that's turned off, which was kind of a tease for us. But before they could even officially announce this, Amazon has leaked it. So let's go ahead and go over the Amazon listing here. So NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus is going to retail for $39.99. We'll talk about that in a second. So NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus is the official video game of the 2020 season. So this is NASCAR Heat 5 on the Switch. If you couldn't already tell based off of the cover. It will feature the 2020 teams, drivers, and cars from all three series and the Dirt, Dirt Tour. And it will also include the 2021 Cup Series roster and paint schemes. So, we will not be getting updated truck and Xfinity rosters, which stinks. I was really hoping to drive Landon's car in, uh, in this game, but oh well. Anyway, uh... We're going to have 2020 throwback and playoff paint schemes as well as Tony Stewart. So, whoop de doo So, it's pretty much NASCAR Heat 5 with the updated cup roster. That's it. It's going to come out on November 19th. Probably smarter to release this after uh, NASCAR 21. But, I just don't understand why this took so long. Um... I just don't know. And $39.99, I think this game would have done a whole lot better at $30. Um, I just feel like $40 is a lot for NASCAR Heat 5. I'm sure they had to put in some work to get this thing running on the Switch well. I hope it runs well on the Switch because we know that it's not the most powerful thing in the world. And NASCAR Heat 5, 4, 3, etc. didn't really run great on the current consoles as is so I'm hoping the screen tearing is to uh it's just kind of toned down a little bit but I mean I've been wanting this I've been wanting this for a while NASCAR on the go on on the switch so I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna play it and we're probably gonna put it on the channel for you to watch so you'll get to see what it's like I doubt we'll get a review copy but I'm always open um we'll probably review it too I just I don't know. I was really excited because I figured we'd get something like this, especially after the tweet today, and I'm just a little bummed. I was kind of hoping they'd at least update all the rosters, and 40 bucks is a little steep. But I guess if you want NASCAR on the Switch, this is it. I don't know what we'll get next year because I'm sure the Unreal Engine is going to be kind of rough to put on uh, the Switch unless we get an updated Switch anytime soon. But... Guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts and feelings on NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus? Will you be buying it? Um, if so, comment down below. Um, tell me what you think. Um, we're going to buy it and play it. So, I mean, that's all we can do. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you next time.